So this is my third installment in my 30 day challenge and this is going to be talking about boundaries and consequences and I think for most people boundaries are really really difficult and um, because it does mean you know if you do set a boundary with a consequence that you know you could be potentially rejected you could be potentially abandoned you could be criticized uh, you could be threatened you know so there is a lot that goes on with it but I think it's one of the things it's like a spiritual practice the more you do it the more you will get better at it and boundaries aren't supposed to be an opportunity to be passive aggressive or to nag or to completely demolish the other person physically or emotionally really what it is it's just a practice of assertive communication basically saying i respect me i respect you this is how i feel uh, this is how i feel when you do this specific behavior i'd appreciate instead that you do this other behavior and if you don't you're going to set a consequence on the end and then that gives the person then an incentive to do the behavior that you want because if you're just setting boundaries left right and center boundary 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 with no consequence it just comes across like nagging and that person isn't really going to respect you probably the way that you want so just keep that in mind keep it context specific as well you know if you're out in public and a random and says something that you're never going to probably see again don't launch launch into like aggressive rage or anything like that try and keep it civil uh, if it is someone that you work with if it's someone you know your, your intimate partner or a friend that you see all the time then that's very very different so keep it context specific i'm going to wrap it up there have a nice evening and uh, i'll speak to you soon bye, -bye.